All right, guys. Um, are we good? Are we live? Yep. Awesome. Uh, so what's up? We're uh, excited. We're live, and um, I've got a lot of great content. Been working on a lot of stuff. Um, so again, welcome to another episode of Real Estate Straight Talk. And we're just going to jump right into this and just get busy. And this is how it's been on all the other episodes before. Again, I, I want to do these live breakdowns with everybody because I think it's important that everyone knows exactly some of the things that I'm doing right now and a lot of the things that I'm learning from a lot of students across the country that they're doing as well. So again, if you're new, by the way, to Real Estate Straight Talk, every week we do an episode where we break down specific principles within the real estate world. And um, so we're just excited to have you on board. We can rock rock this out. So if you're new to if you're new to the real estate world and uh, you're just getting started, that's great. Like welcome. If you've been in this business for a lot of years, then uh, welcome back. And certainly your knowledge and your expertise adds every week to everyone that's been tuning in. So again, super super excited. Uh, by the way, those of you that um, don't know me. Um, I guess since we're live, this is what we do, and when we're live, we just drop stuff. Um, so, uh, those that don't know me, my name's Mike Baird. Uh, you may have seen me on a, on a TV show that I did a couple years back called Flip Men. We um, aired here in the U.S., then went on internationally. It was super, super exciting to be able to do that show. I did it with the executive producer of The Biggest Loser called Dave Broom, and um, it was funny because I wasn't really... Um, I'm not really like a TV guy, like this is not super comfortable for me. Some people are really comfortable on camera, others aren't, and I got this call, I was like, hey, why don't you do this TV show? And I'm like, I'm not really like a, like a TV guy, I'm more of a, the kind of guy that just does deals. And, um, but it kind of, long story short, it, you know, the producer was like, man, we really have an opportunity to do a cool show here. Are you really fixing up communities? Are you fixing up houses? Is there really money to be made here? And um, yeah, I think there's money to be made and I've been doing this for about 14 years. Bought and sold, I don't know, about 1,500 homes, so done a lot of deals. But when I first started this, and maybe you're in this situation too, like I wasn't really, no one was holding my hand, no one was teaching me, no one was showing me along the way like how to do this. So after doing the TV show, I had opportunity to, to do a lot of training, um, live training seminars, and then um, also have opportunity to do more trainings like this in these episodes called Real Estate Straight Talk. So by the way, if you wanna follow me on social media, definitely do that. Check me out on Facebook, Mike Baird Real Estate and Design, and then I'm on Twitter as well, at Flipman Mike is my uh, tag there. So um, Twitter, at Flipman Mike, and then Mike Baird Real Estate and Design. And also, for those of you that have been in the business or are really, really serious about getting started in real estate, I do have a very exclusive closed group page, and uh, we call that um, the Real Estate Tribe. So um, ch check us out there um, as well. It's the Smarter Real Estate Tribe on, on Facebook. That's that closed group that we do stuff with. So I'm excited about today's content. And by the way, stick around to the end because if you want to find other videos, other free trainings, and things that I do, um, stick around, I'll show you a way to get access to more of my videos, more of my trainings. It's real content, real stuff that me and my team and a lot of people across the country are doing right now today um, to be super successful. So today, I'm just, let's, let's, let's get busy. You excited? Because uh, I'm excited. I, I want to get going. So today's topic is real estate Ferraris and Pintos. And I don't know about you, but if I had a choice, I, I don't, would you rather be in a Ferrari or would you rather you know, be in a Pinto? And if you're like me, like I'd definitely rather be in that Ferrari. And just the other day, driving down the freeway and we see this, you know, as perfect as can be, like brand new 2017, of course, it's red, it's Ferrari, comes speeding by us and my son's like, holy cow, dad, did you see that Ferrari? He's seven years old, he recognized the Ferrari going right by and so we sped up to it, we checked it out and Robbie turns to me and he's like, dad, he's like, I want a Ferrari. I was like, wow, like, okay, like, let's, uh, let's talk about that. Like, why, why, why do you want a Ferrari? You know, I'm, I, I like it too. It's pretty sweet. And he goes, dad, cause I just want to go fast. And he's like, dad, I just want to go fast. And I thought about this as it relates to real estate and how do we do this business efficiently? How do we do it effectively? How do we do it with little to no risk? But at the same time, how do we do this fast? 
because I got a lot of people coming in. And by the way, a lot of these um, episodes that we do on real estate straight talk every week, these episodes we do, they're coming from questions and people across the country that are wanting to engage. These are questions from you. So by the way, if you have a question, definitely let us know, send it in, check me out on Facebook, go to my Twitter, whatever. Give me the questions and I'll do everything I can to get you the answers that you need. So the question was, how do I do this business faster? How do I do it so I'm in a Ferrari and I'm not running in a Pinto? Because it feels like a lot of people are just kind of putt, putt, putt along and they're in that Pinto. And they're like, dude, I, I want to be in the Ferrari. I want to do it faster. I want to do it more effectively. I want to do it better. So that's what we're going to talk about right now today. So I'm super excited. Let's jump into this. By the way, grab, grab no paper, whatever you got, like get something out. Because I want you to take notes. I want you to be able to walk away from this at the end of the day and be like, okay, yeah, I got some really, really solid, good content about this. Like, I'm not about the fluff. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. We tell some stories. But I really want you to write this stuff down, okay? So the very first thing that I'm going to have you write down, and again, I want you thinking the whole time, like, if I'm going to do this business, I want to do it in a Ferrari. So if I'm doing a Ferrari, how am I going to engage, okay? So let's talk about this. Number one. Nichi, by the way. N I C H E. Nichi? Yeah. Nichi. Niche. Niche. Nichi. But I want Nichi. I want it to be like, get Nichi. Right? Okay, so here, here's what I'm talking about. I want to be as specific and as Nichi as I possibly can. Okay? I want you to think about some really successful businesses out there. Um, one of my favorite places to eat, it's In N Out Burger. I love that place, right? But the cool thing about In-N-Out is you just pull right up and you don't have to think about, oh, am I gonna get this or that or whatever. It's pretty simple, right? I'm getting a double-double, I'm getting a single with cheese, no cheese, onions or no onions, french fries, chocolate shake, vanilla shake, and a soda, right? That's what they've got. It's sitting right there. It's in the big white sign with red writing and I, they know exactly what their market niche is, right? They're not getting super crazy with salads and tacos and I don't know what, right? They know exactly what their niche is. So I want you to think about that as it relates to your business. But what I'm talking about, I want you to get market specific and to get very, very, very niche okay? So what I, what, how does this translate to real estate? Think about it. Some people get into this, they go, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to do some commercial. I'm going to get involved in the commercial side of the business. And they go, hey, you know what? I don't know about commercial. I'm going to do some development. How about development? And then it's like, you know what? What about some single family homes? Or what about some condo conversions? And all of a sudden, we're not doing anything very well, right? Coming back to in and out they do a really, really good job with their hamburger, right? And it's the same thing. We're going to go in. We're going to get very, very specific. We're going to get niche. And here's how we're going to get niche, okay? By the way, I don't even know if that's a word, the whole like niche thing. Like, I just, we're just making up as we go along. So, uh, first thing is we want to get niche as it relates to, as it relates to area, okay? So, what I'm talking about is I want to be able to narrow down a very, very specific geographic area that I want to be doing business in. And maybe we're going to do that by, by the zip code. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'm only going to do business in 84020 or 84070 or 92064, whatever it is your zip code is. I'm going to get very specific and niche about that. So right now, I want you to think about an area where you're close to. Typically, I like to say between 15 to 30 minutes of where you live, right? I want to get very specific. Start thinking about an area. So if you want to go fast, you want to be like a Ferrari, think about an area. Get very, very niche about that, okay? And we're going to get niche about an area, a zip code. And the other thing is potentially very niche about a style, right? Some people are very particular about, hey, they're only going to do like older homes. They want to do those historic type older homes and restorations that way. Great. If that's going to be your niche, you go for that, right? Or if you're thinking, hey, you know what? I only want to do homes between, you know, 1985 
and the year 2000 or newer or newer than 1985 or newer than 1995 or whatever because hey I know that those homes aren't gonna require a lot of rehab they're gonna be a little bit newer in terms of their you know what's inside in terms of electrical and all these maybe that's what you want to do. hey that, that makes sense for you okay you're like I'm not very handy so I don't want to do all this old stuff and do all this rehab and I'd rather do a little bit newer homes and be in you know something that's newer and then maybe 2000 and newer and if I get if I narrow in I'm gonna be able to be more effective and efficient there so again area in style I'm gonna use that zip code right so I'm gonna just narrow everything down as niche and as specific as I possibly can okay so don't get all over the place thinking hey I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna narrow it down now the very first area I ever did property in 84103 okay I didn't really get the principle but at the time but I learned it very quickly when you get in there we did 11 homes on the same street so I'm talking about getting specific about an area. That's what I want to do. Then you drive down that road and you're thinking, hey, you know what? I know exactly what that house is worth. That's 1,200 square feet. That's 1,400 square feet. I know exactly what those homes are worth and what they're going to sell for and also what they're going to need. So again, I want you to come back to your specific area right now. Wherever you're at in this country or wherever you're at in the world, I want you to think, what areas do I want to focus on? Okay? How specific can I get? And the more specific that I get, guess what? The more efficient I begin to get, okay? So again, that's the very first tip. Okay, second tip, in terms of how to do this business in an absolute, in a, in a Ferrari, okay? So that's what we're doing. So, by the way, how's everything going? You on board? We getting this? Okay, so Ferrari, gonna get specific, I'm gonna get niche. Think about that area that you wanna do business in, okay? Number two. Number two has to do with this idea and this concept of emotion, okay? And this is a tough one. This is a tough one because we're thinking about houses and we're like, wow, like it's a lot of money, people live there, there's a lot of memories being made. And what I wanna do is I wanna say, hey, if you wanna do this business fast, you have to remove emotion from the equation. So I had a guy the other day, a student of mine, he sends me this picture and it's a picture of this little sticky note, this you know, little typical like little yellow post-it sticky note. And it says on it, it says, I'm leaving emotion in the car. And he was about ready to walk in to a trustee sale, to an auction. And you know, these auctions, hey, everyone's like fired up, excited, emotional, everyone's overbidding, overpaying for all this kind of stuff, right? And he's like, I'm leaving emotion in the car. And that's exactly what we want to do is we want to take the emotion and we want to pull it right out of there okay pull it out of it at this point in time i'm not thinking about the words pretty beautiful unbelievable amazing we're gonna sell on emotion but we're not gonna get into this business and be buying on emotion take the emotion right out of it okay and that leads me to that next principle which is going to be if i'm not buying based on emotion then what am i buying on okay and what i tell people over and over again is we're gonna buy on principle And I'm not gonna get into all of the buying principles right now. We've done it in, in other videos and things. And um, we break that down specifically what, you know, how to establish ARV and how to come up with, you know, uh, good estimates in terms of what it's gonna take and how to market properly. We do that in a lot of the other videos. But I just want you to think back maybe to some of those principles that are internal and to say, okay, what are those principles? How do I keep coming back to those, right? Because the, 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 the quicker I can come back to the principles, the quicker I'm gonna be able to do this business. So again, I'm gonna get niche. I'm gonna remove emotion from the equation. How am I gonna do that? Okay, look at your notes, I wrote, write the principle, right? Come back to the principles, and we're gonna get into those other videos about establishing ARV and all that kind of thing later, all right? But again, stick to the principles, okay? Then the last thing that I wanna tell you about, number four, all comes down to team. Okay, now, what I'm about to tell you is probably the single most important thing I teach people over and over again, and here it is. You ready? Relationships are more important than the real estate. I'm gonna say it again. Re relationships are more important than the real estate, and that comes down to right there. That comes down to the team, right? So when I'm thinking about team, I'm thinking about all the relationships, all of the people that are around me. Let me walk you through a scenario really quick. 
um, a lot of times I get these complaints or people tell me, Mike, like I just can't buy anything. There's too many, there's too much competition. I show up to a property and there's like five other guys or there's 10 other people. I'm just like, how am I gonna compete with that, right? When I'm showing up to look at a piece of a property and there's other people there, what do I wanna do? Based on the principle that I just showed you, that I just talked to you about and you just wrote it down, relationships are more important than the real estate. So all of a sudden, I'm gonna flip a little switch yeah, the real estate's there. But what I'm most interested in is all of those relationships, all of the people there. Are there contractors that are there? Are there real estate agents that are there? Are there quote unquote competitors who you're actually gonna turn into your buyers? And we talk about that in another video as well is how to turn competition into um, our buyers and how to actually leverage those individuals. But I want you to, again, just think about those relationships, okay? And how those relationships can move you into the next business. Okay, so think about this. Do I wanna be in a Ferrari? Do I wanna be going fast? Do I wanna do this right? Do I wanna do it efficient? Do I wanna just get in there and get it done and start making profits right away? These are the principles, okay? I want you to just look back to your notes and uh, think about it. So first and foremost, what am I gonna do? Okay, think about it, look at your notes. I'm gonna get very, very niche. I'm gonna get very specific about an area, right? The other thing I wanna do, remove emotion from the entire equation. I wanna to stick to my principles, return to them over and over again, take that emotion out of it, go to the principles every day, and then you're also thinking about that team and those, and those relationships and things that are going on there. So guys, I hope this has been a great video for you. Um, Real Estate Straight Talk, again, we're here every week, so check us out. Obviously, I told you, if you wanna check out some other trainings and things that I do, how to do this business efficiently, how to do this well, definitely check out my High Ticket Real Estate Secrets webinar. There's a link right here in, in the comments right here, so just go ahead and click on that link, and there's other videos and things you have access to. Definitely in that webinar, by the way, on High Ticket Real Estate Secrets, I talk specifically about um, the, uh, the strategies that I'm doing right now today, and it's not gonna be what you think. It's not gonna be kind of in your mind in terms of if I'm gonna do this, how am I gonna do it? It's, and so there's some principles there that I'm really excited about that I share, so absolutely check that out. Hope you enjoyed today. Definitely tune in in the future and on our, next, on our future episodes of Real Estate Straight Talk. Definitely check out the other uh, link on the webinar to high ticket real estate sales, and we'll definitely see you soon. Thanks, guys.